This is the Cholo News Report for Sunday 26, August 2018. A hotel fire in Harbin, China, kills 19 people and injures 23 others. The fire broke out at the Forestry Belong Hot Spring Hotel in Harbin's Sun Island Recreation Area. The deadly fire started at 436 a.m. Saturday at Belong Hot Spring Leisure Hotel in Songbi District. Firemen found 18 bodies at the site, and a person was declared dead at hospital after treatment failed. 13 sick people are taken off the stranded DCOT vessel in Catania, Italy. Albania offers to take in 20 migrants. On Saturday, the United Nations called for reason from all sides. After a meeting of envoys from 10 EU states in Brussels, a day earlier failed to break the deadlock. The remaining 137 migrants disembarked in the early hours of Sunday to be taken to a reception center in the Sicilian city of Messina, from which they will be distributed to the church dioceses, as well as Ireland and Albania. More than 650,000 people have reached Italian shores since 2014, and even though the numbers have fallen steeply in the last year, Rome says it will not let any more rescue ships dock unless the migrants are shared out around the EU. Italian Minister of the Interior Matteo Salvini is placed under investigation for possible illegal detention and kidnapping. He subsequently gives permission for the remaining 134 migrants to disembark. Ireland will take 25 migrants, Albania 20. The Italian church says it will take in the others. U.S. Senator John McCain as Congress reconvened in January 2015, with Republicans in control of the Senate, Mr. McCain achieved his longtime goal to become chairman of the Armed Services Committee, with the power to advance his national security and fiscal objectives under a $600 billion military policy bill. Days after the Democrats nominated Hillary Clinton as the first major party female candidate for the presidency, Mr. McCain rebuked Mr. Trump for his comments about the family of a Muslim army captain killed by a suicide bomber as he tried to save fellow American troops in Iraq in 2004. But weeks after President Trump moved into the White House and began blindsiding the public and sometimes the government with executive orders and mixed messages on immigration, foreign policy and other issues, Mr. McCain, himself newly re-elected, let loose. After struggling to write a passable bill, and with no votes to spare, Senator Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, the majority leader, put off a showdown when Mr. McCain was sidelined by surgery for a cranial blood clot over his left eye in July.